Hey, this is Charlie from the band Anthrax and also with Pantera, and you are watching Paranormal Prison. Welcome inside the dilapidated gates of the Mansfield Reformatory in Ohio. My name is Josh Bernstein, and in this chilling series, I take famous rock stars into the most haunted and decrepit dungeons in the world. What's your name? Step beyond the realm of the living into the darkest corridors of the dead. Join us as we find out there is no redemption and certainly no escape from the paranormal prison. At the Ohio State Reformatory, living conditions for inmates during its operational years were notoriously harsh. The facility, built in the late 19th century, featured cramped cells, lack of heating and cooling, and minimal amenities. Overcrowding was a persistent issue. Inmates endured challenging circumstances, and the facility's history is marked by the accounts of challenging living conditions, which only added to its reputation as a punishing institution. Anthrax, a legendary American thrash metal band formed in 1981. They've released the iconic albums Among the Living and Persistence of Time. They're known for the high energy live shows and pioneering the thrash metal genre. Pantera, a groundbreaking heavy metal band from Texas. Emerged in the 1980s, their albums like Vulgar Display of Power and Far Beyond Driven redefined heavy metal. They're known for their power and aggressive sound and endless groove. I, I don't feel much right now. I, I feel a little nervous because I gotta go play a show, so maybe that's what I'm feeling. But I mean, when we first walked in here, I remembered it, and of course, it, it brings back those feelings of I'm sure a lot of things went down here, you know, back in the day. So I wouldn't doubt it if there was souls, spirits, things still lingering. I've played here before. Oh, you have? Yeah, um, and I remember going through the whole, you know, tour of it the last time we were here. And it was kind of creepy, you know, this whole thing. And I think I've seen like one of those ghost shows and they did an episode on the prison, uh, but they didn't find anything. They just heard a noise and it's like, oh, did you hear that? You know? We head into the shower room to begin our investigation with Charlie Benante. This is the shower. Yeah, this is West Cell Block Shower. What's up? How are you? Can you hear me? Is anyone here with us? Did a ghost just identify itself as Dalton through the spirit box? Apparently you guys like EDM. <laughs> what was that? Was this a spirit telling Charlie to return the room we just left? Could he possibly have provoked this interaction? Are you upstairs? Did you just trip Josh? <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. I don't want to go in there. I felt weird. <laughs> at this point, Charlie physically halts himself at the entrance to one of the rooms. As a voice calls out to him in question, is this you? Do they recognize Charlie? I don't like that. My chest just got really weird. When I walked in there, This is a little different now. 
After feeling a tightness in his chest, Charlie decides to move to another area nearby, but it sounds like something is still calling him back. And uh, I've had two different, actually three different times when uh, I've had a situation happen. Uh, one time we were on tour in, uh, in Scotland and we were staying in Glasgow and we had a night off and we were staying at this old hotel and we were all gonna meet up to go out to dinner. And before that, I went downstairs and had a drink and there was a room adjacent to where the bar was at the hotel. And I just sat in this room. It was like a whiskey room, they called it. And I sat in there with, with my drink and I was just reading and the doorway was about six feet from where I was sitting. And I looked up and I saw this black shadowy thing go across the doorway really slow. And I was like, oh my God, there's nobody in here that, that, that saw that but me. And it freaked me the hell out. When we went into that one room where the, the big cell was, as I got closer to it, my chest started to feel heavy, like it was weird. And the closer I got, the worse it got. And I stopped and I'm like, I don't want to go in there. Now it's better, but I'm afraid to walk back there now. So this is the movie. Are you here with us? Now in the movie room, we hear what sounds like a call and a question to Charlie. Are these spirits trying to reach out and find out why we are here? Did you watch the movie in this room? Is the spirit directly responding to Charlie's question by saying, I tried? Did it pass on to the other side during film night at the prison? After using the spirit box again to try to contact the other side, we are unable to receive any more voices through the frequencies and wrap up our investigation. Hey, this is Charlie and I survived the paranormal prison.